I'm Adil Kumar sharing with you quadratic equations applications and these questions have been shared by my student. Let us look into this particular question. It says Sam cuts half a rectangular lawn 40 meter by 30 meter by mowing a strip of equal width around the perimeter. Peter cuts the remaining rectangle left. How wide a strip does Sam cut? so that they share the work equally, right? So that's, that's the question for you. So let's say this is our rectangular lawn. Let me make one. Okay. Now it says, Sam cuts half the rectangular lawn, 40 meter by 30 meters. So we have the dimensions of this lawn. So this is 40 meters and this is 30 meters, okay by mowing the strip of equal width around the perimeter. That is to say that Peter is coming, is, is doing this part, right? So just cutting around the perimeter. So all these four sides, kind of like this. So something like this. This area has been removed by Peter, let us say, right? So, so that is the strip moved. Right. So that portion has been done by Peter. Let me just shade it all right. So that portion has been removed. And it says there's equal width of the strip. Okay, so this job has been done by Peter. And since it says equal width, we'll assume this width to be, let's take a square here, right? So x from this side and x from this side. You get an idea, right? So so we'll remove x from here and we'll remove x from here all four corners because that job has been done by peter now what is sam doing sam is actually doing the rest of it so sam i mean sam cuts the rectangular half outside is done by sam inside by peter okay peter cuts the remaining so this is done by Peter, this portion. Okay. So do you see two rectangles? So that is the one by one person. It says, how wide a strip does Sam cut? So Sam cuts the strips. So this is done by Sam. So that they work, they share the work equally, right? So the inside work has been done by Peter, okay. Now what is, when we say they share the work equally, it means what? It means same area, shared equally. So that means area is shared equally. That is what it is, right? Now total area of this lawn is how much? We say big area is actually 40 meters by 30 meters. That is 4 times 3 is 12. Then we have two zeros and meter square. Each is doing half of it. So area divided by 2 which is 1200 meter square divided by 2 and that is each is doing 600 meter square of job. Both of them. Correct? That is the situation. So we need to now find what is the value of x. That is what, how wide a strip does Sam cut. So we say let the width, that is our let statement. So this is width of strip cut by Sam, right? Cut by so we have defined our variable which is the width of strip cut by Sam and let that be X okay now we know this is X then what is the job left for Peter let's figure that out well in that case inside rectangle we are looking into the length will be 2x is removed from 40 so it is 40 minus 2x that becomes the length of inside rectangle and the width will be how much? Will be 30 minus 2x. Does it make sense? x and x. 
I hope it does, right? So Peter is doing the inside rectangle. So Peter's job should be to cut an area of 40 minus 2x times 30 minus 2x. Since they are sharing the job, that should be equal to 600 meters square. Does it make sense? I hope it does, right? So that is the equation. Only one variable. So we can now open this equation, solve for the variable. So let's multiply. 40 times 30. 4 times 3 is 12. So let's say 1200 minus 80x. Now we'll multiply both by minus 2x. So minus 60x plus 4x square equals to 600. Bring the terms together, rearrange. So 4x square, always write highest degree first, right? So here we have 80 and 60 when you combine them. 8 and 6 is 14, so we have 140x. And let's bring 600 to the left side. So we have plus 1200 minus 600 equals to 0. Okay. Now, we can divide each term by 4, correct? I think we can. All are multiples of 4. So, dividing by 4, so what we are doing at this stage is, or we can combine and then divide. Let's combine and divide, okay? So, we have 4x square minus 140x, and this is plus 600 equals to 0, correct? Let's take factor out 4. So, we have x square minus when you divide this by 4 4 times 3 is 12 and then you get 5 35x and when you divide this by 4 4 times 1 20 so 150 equals to 0 right so that is the equation which you get now you're looking for two numbers whose product is 150 and whose sum is minus 35 Right. So that is one way of doing it. The other way is you could use quadratic equation. It's all up to you, right? Now my recommendation is that when you have big numbers to work with, and if you want to use product and sum, you could use factoring. For example, 150 has two factors, 15 and 10, right? But when you add them, you don't really get 35, right? You get 25. Okay, so that really doesn't work. So what we can do is we can further factor this, let's say 2 and 5, got it? Now, if I combine, let me show you how easy it is. It may look difficult. If you combine these two factors, then we get 30 and 5, which will give you 150, and their sum will be minus 35. Now, since we need minus, we'll keep them negative, right? So, so now, I hope you understood this technique of prime factorization and then figuring out. So we get 4 times, we could factor this as x minus 30 times x minus 5. Do you see that? Equals to 0. And these two factors can be 0 only for x equals to 30 or x equals to 5. Do you see that? Now the question is, can x be 30? Well, if I make x as 30, then you get a negative number here, right? So this is not valid. Which one? X equals to 30 is not valid. So we kind of reject this. Is it okay? So we kind of reject this. Okay, not valid. But we accept this one. This is perfectly fine. So we say, well, X value equals to 5 is okay. So we say answer here is this strip is 5 units are meter do you see yeah five meters wide so that is how you could solve such a question i took my time to explain you the concept and i hope that works for you i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best